welcome to IndianExpress.com. Upping the ante against Pakistan, Indian government summoned Pakistan High Commissioner Abdul Basit and conveyed information of Pakistan's link in the recent Uri attack. Not only this, but the Indian government is also likely to review Pakistan's most favoured nation status on September 29th. To discuss all these developments further, I'm joined by Shubhoji who will put all these developments into perspective. Uh, firstly, to start with, we know how Abdul Basit today was summoned by Foreign Secretary Jay Shankar and uh, conveyed information about a lot of Pakistan links as far as the Uri attack is concerned. How do you analyze this entire development? So, uh, you rightly said that uh, the Indian Foreign Secretary Jay Shankar, S. Jay Shankar, he called Pakistan High Commissioner Abdul Basit to his office and conveyed that uh, the Indian security agencies have in their custody three people. Mm, um, uh, from uh, who were uh, you know arrested in Kashmir, okay. two of them uh, were um, caught by villagers in Uri and were handed over to the security agencies. These two have confessed to uh, acting as guides for these four terrorists who attacked uh, uh, the Indian Army base in uh, Uri about ten days ago, and uh, these two people have uh, been identified as uh, belonging to Muzaffarabad in Pakistan occupied Kashmir. In fact, one of these two people arrested have, has also identified one of the terrorists uh, from the pictures available to them. And uh, these, uh, uh, this essentially points to Pakistan's involvement in, as a living proof for the first time um, and uh, that is what India is saying and India has shared this information. Separately, um, the uh, Indian authorities, uh, security agencies have also arrested another person from Sialkot area who uh, had crossed over the LOC and uh, has admitted to have uh, got training in uh, with the Lash Lashkar Taiba. And, um, uh, so, these three people are right now in the custody of the Indian um, investigative agencies okay. and uh, Jay Shankar told the Basit that, you know, um, your diplomats can come and meet uh, these three individuals and uh, ascertain their identity and uh, other details. Right. So, on one hand, we know Prime Minister Modi is likely to chair a meeting on uh, September 29th right. to review the status of Pak uh, most favoured nation for Pakistan. Yeah. But on the other hand, Sartaz Aziz has uh, made a statement today in the wake of the uh, Indus Treaty uh, meeting that Prime Minister Modi also chaired. He said, and I quote, that India cannot unilaterally separate itself from the Indus Waters Treaty. How do you analyse both these developments? So, uh, the Indian Prime Minister, he will be chairing a meeting to review the implementation of India's granting of uh, most favoured nation status to Pakistan, which was given in 1996, about 20 okay. years ago. And uh, ever since then, there has been expectation in Delhi that uh, Pakistan will return the favour and it will also grant immigrant status, which has not happened, despite promises uh, by uh, Pakistani leaders. Uh, now, India will sort of do a pro and con whether it is uh, viable and uh, how is it working and uh, whether we should still continue with the most favoured nation status, whether we stand to gain or lose, etc. Now, uh, since this comes in the wake of the Uri attacks and the uh, Indus Water Treaty uh, that has been uh, reviewed. Uh, as we discussed yesterday. So, this is being seen as an Indian strategy to corner Pakistan. And the Sata Aziz's statement in the Pakistan's parliament, which is in, called the National Assembly, is on the uh, expected lines because Pakistan feels that India is, uh, will be violating the treaty, abrogating the treaty, although India has maintained that India will not abrogate the treaty, India will only maximize the potential of the river waters under its share. So, in that context, Pakistan has taken a sharp response, made a sharp response, and um, it is uh, expected to react in a similar fashion if India decides 
or make some decisions on MFN status as well. Right. So we've heard uh, External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj's uh, sharp reply yeah. to uh, Nawaz Sharif's uh, accusations at UNGA. We've seen uh, Prime Minister Modi ch uh, chairing a meeting to review the Indus Waters Treaty right. meeting. And now we're also seeing that he will be chairing a meeting of MFN status for Pakistan. Mm -hmm. How do you uh, analyze India's response as far as the Uri attack is concerned? So the Indian response uh, post Uri attack um, uh, was, uh, you know, uh, there were calls amongst BJP uh, leaders as well, including Ram Madhav, who, call, who said that strategic restraint is passe. Now, after that, uh, Prime Minister, uh, he himself uh, made a speech in Kozi Kaur on Saturday, in which he clearly indicated that, you know, strategic restraint uh, is at the core of India's foreign policy and security policy okay. and at the core of India's response. So, uh, in the wake of that, there have been exchange of war of words at the UN where first, uh, uh, first secretary responded uh, against uh, on Prime Minister, Pakistan Prime Minister's speech mm -hmm. and then Shushma Swaraj, the external affairs minister, she also responded. She also sort of made a speech and elaborated on terrorism and put uh, Pakistan uh, you know, um, on the defensive. So uh, that's what India thinks. Now these uh, meetings, back-to-back -back meetings on Indus Water Treaty and MFN status, all these are part of India's strategy to explore the non-military diplomatic, uh, economic and political responses to, uh, uh, to against Pakistan and to see what might work which can, which would force or prompt Pakistan to, to take action against terror groups operating from its uh, in territory. That is the ultimate aim. So these are diplomatic leverages and pressure points that are being created and explored. Right. And uh, the ultimate aim is to uh, get Pakistan to act. Thank you so much, Shivaji, for getting us your perspective on this entire development that had happened. Uh, for more news and updates, log on to internexpress.com.